Hi, this is Jacob from the Azure portal. Today I would like to show you how we can customize the blades. In the previous episodes, I show you how we can customize the dashboard, but you can customize blade in a similar way. So if I go to my web app, you can see here I have uh, only one tile with a uh, number of requests I received in the past hour. And you know, I can customize this chart by clicking edit here. And I can choose the time range. So I'll be interested to see my request in the past week, how it spikes. I can also add more metrics. So for example, I can add HTTP server errors. Maybe I can add HTTP 404s. I'll click OK. And it will refresh the chart and it will display all other data. So you can uh, add whatever you want, whatever time range you want. And you can see like here I have nice spike on April 2nd. And here I have nice spike uh, before April 4th. You can also add more tiles to your blade. So here, if I click the button, add tiles. Here on the left-hand side, you have different types of tiles you can add here. So for example, CPU percentage tile, I'll drag it here to the top. I can, of course, change the size. I can make it bigger. Click done customizing. I can also click edit, and I can also say, I want the, my past week data. Click OK, and I got it here. Refresh, and I have my password data, and you can see this aligned together. So you know, in add tiles, there are different types of tiles. You can pin whatever you, you want. For example, pretty useful would be probably estimated spend, or might be useful also to uh, know what alerts you're getting, and whatever, whatever you need at the time. And you know, all the time, you can pin whatever tile you have here to the dashboard by clicking pin to dashboard. So uh, if you have some uh, suggestions or some question about the Azure portal, please tweet me at Jacob Jedrzejczyk or contact me by finding my contact information on my blog jj09.net.